Hi, my name is Victoria Santos and I'm going to show you how to use an organizing tool on Cool Tools for Schools. If you watched my previous video, I showed you how to use a researching tool. So we're going to go to organizing tool and we're going to go down to Bubble Us. So Bubble Us is a great way to organize your thoughts. So it's important when writing a piece of work it'll be very helpful to have all your thoughts mapped out for you so i've already logged into my account and we're going to start brainstorming so when you open up your new mind map you can click the center bubble um, this is the parent bubble um, underneath you'll be able to add a new child's bubble or a new bubble so this will be one that's not attached but for your center bubble, you're able to change the color as well as the text color, the size. You can connect it to different bubbles and you can attach as well as delete or move this bubble. So to start, I think we should just maybe put a title. So this would be the title of the student's story, whatever it may be. Then we're able to change the color, whatever you like. And I think we should make this bigger since it's going to be the main bubble, which is the title of this story. So now when thinking of your story, you should come up with a topic. So your topic should be listed separately. So let's create a topic. We can move it on the side over here so we remember what it is. Topic, and then you can create a child bubble just by pressing that little down arrow. And we can write anything you like here so description of the topic being used so this will be helpful to remember what your topic is and what your description of it is so make sure you achieve that in your story so you have your title of your story and you have your topic so far so say the teacher wants a five paragraph story or essay we should have five different child bubbles. So we'll create five different child bubbles here. So this would be paragraph one. We can create paragraph number two, paragraph two. Oops, paragraph, sorry about that, paragraph two. And we can do number three. I'm just going to write P3. And then P4. And now everything's starting to look a little confusing here. And we can do P5. So to get all these chi child bubbles, I only press the, the arrow that says new child bubble. So now we can move these around, dragging from the corners. So paragraph one, paragraph two. Paragraph three, four, and five. So these are all your paragraphs listed out here. Um, so now you have your title of your story and each paragraph you want to talk about. So when talking about paragraph one, you should talk about what your main idea is going to be. Just by clicking that simple button, create child bubble, you'll be able to write your main idea here. So this is where you would write your main idea. And then you should probably want to think about including your supporting details. So just by clicking on new child's bubble, you can put supporting details. Okay. And then maybe you want to put yourself, make a little note here, list different details to talk about in the story. And then maybe this part is gonna take place on a farm and we're gonna have horse and a pig. So now this is getting a little bit filled up here. We can move that over. So paragraph two, you should probably wanna do the same thing for all of your bubbles, create that main idea as well as all of your supporting details. Supporting details. Okay, 
Now, this will get filled up and you will have a lot of bubbles here. So maybe you would like to collapse your bubbles. What you can do is you can press the minus sign. So this will hide the child's bubble. So if we just click on that, it'll say plus one. So it'll expand and show our supporting details. We can do that from paragraph. We can actually do that from title. So if you just want your paragraphs listed here, you can just collapse those or you can expand them just like that. Also, if you want to connect your topic to your title, what you're going to do is click connect. So to click connect, you're going to click and hold and drag to where you would like to connect it until it turns blue. And you release and now you have a nice long arrow. We can move this a little closer, it doesn't look like it's all the way over there. You can also change your arrow just by clicking on it. So if you don't want the end to look like an arrow, it can be straight. And if you want the start to be an arrow, the topic going to the title, and it can be straight as well. We can also label them and we can write use quote or A and B, anything you'd like. And it will be labeled A and B, okay? Also, I think it's pretty interesting if you would include another bubble just by hitting enter. You can include another bubble, drag that bubble over over here, and you should include a works cited page when you're writing if you wanted to cite anything. So works cited and what you can do is create that child's bubble and you can write list of sources. And this will pull up the list of sources and you can write whatever sources you're going to use. This list will get pretty long if you're gonna be citing or quoting or um, anything like that, taking any, any quotes from any other source. So this list will get long, so what you wanna do here, I would collapse that. So at least you know your work cited buttons over here, your topics here, as with the description of your topic being used. Now what you can do, say we wanted to move some of this, we can press select and we can select both buttons at the same time and we can move them over. So instead of only moving one, you can move both. So this will be helpful because then otherwise you're only, this is a parent bubble, but if you were moving just one, you would want them to make sure they stay together. Also you can print export and import. When going to share, um, if I had a list of contacts here, it would be maybe my list of students or my teacher, and I'd be able to share this mind map with them. You can save it, and it auto saves every two minutes. So we'll save it under new mind map. You can rename it to my story um, draft one. And then maybe if you change your paragraphs around, then you might want to change your mind map around. And that's there. Draft one. Oop, my story. Let's rename that. Just spelt that wrong. There, my story. Okay? All right. I think I've covered everything you need to know on Bubble Us to get you started. I hope this helps and your story comes out great. Thanks so much, guys.